everybody's got a little bit of their own individual in them and, and by the nature of Free Spirit we set up to be a little bit different from everybody else. You know, it was a busy market when we launched. There was a lot of, you know, rock companies doing product, you know, either Far East or building in this country and so forth. But because our product's very different, we also wanted to be offering the ability to customise it, your name on it, a line clip, a different handle and so forth. And it's become very synonymous with our product now. And I, for one, I mean, you look at my rods, they're personal to me. They've caught me a lot of fish, but they are individual. I like chevrons. Other people like plain rods and so forth and different handles. And because we can do all that, I'd like to think we cater for anybody's tastes, literally. Well, obviously, you can buy them off the shelf if you want as a standard build. But as like the same again, you know, for the real handle length, for the powerful rods, highest if 200s, it's worth having a made to measure. You can have, if you want, you can have line clips put on them. You can change the, I know, yeah, the real, the real fitting. If you want, you can change the, in the book grip. You can you put cigar grips on instead of the grips they come with. If you want, change the whipping. You, know, you can put the old chevrons on, as you put it, and you name it. You can do what you want with it. You, you tell them what you want, they can do it. It's as simple as that. And you know, they've got some, I think, some of the best rod builders around. As simple as that. I mean, some of the finish on my rods, I think they're for the abuse my rods get, and they're still going. It's, it's normally a statement that they're, you know, they're a good build and they're not getting mine don't get milky underneath and I say mine are being used I cast mine as 40 50 year old because they're getting abused by everybody that wants to come and do some casting days as you've been been to them same again if somebody doesn't like 50 more ringing and that they even want the 200s but they want to put bait runners on it no problem put 40 more ringing on if you want and, you, know, you can have that you can have exactly what you want it's as simple as that what I'm going to do is I show one of the things we pioneered a number of years ago is what we call a perdurable blank finish. Again, it's down to the, the desire, if you like, to produce a rod that somebody can use for a lifetime. <clears throat> and as such, perdurable means lifetime. So just to demonstrate here, there's actually no lacquer or paint finish or anything on our blanks. This is the actual carbon you're looking at. And although it seems quite a, a aggressive uh, thing to do, I'll just show you. In fact, if you can see the rod bending there, I'm putting quite a lot of pressure on that. Now, that's a very sharp knife. And you can see there's a slight marking on the blank there. Now, if I just wet that and rub that off, you'll see that's actually come off the knife. It's not actually anything to do with the carbon. Yeah, all designed with a lifetime finish. It means that if you want to have your rods rebuilt in five, six, seven, eight years' time, new guides, new whippings on them, the blank finish will still be perfect. So you literally end up with a new set of rods or a new looking set of rods.